In this short demonstration, I'm going to show you how to deploy an ADF Essentials application on WebLogic 12C. So the first thing we're going to do is to start the WebLogic server. I have previously created a domain that uh, is only intended for ADF Essentials applications. So this domain doesn't contain any of the a JRF libraries that you would normally install in into a um, WebLogic or, or WebSphere application server if you want to install the run ADF runtime. So for this one, we're not going to install any of that runtime, and we're going to start up the server using the um, the this uh, property here about the MDS cache. So I'm going to start the server. And while the server starts, I'm going to go to my JDeveloper and we're going to examine the ADF application that I'm going to deploy. This, this is the Summit ADF application which you, which you can install and download from OTN. And let's take a look at the various uh, components that need to be modified in order to deploy this application. This uh, application has the model in the model you basically need to uh, go into the application uh, into the application modules and change this configuration uh, the local configuration of the application model so it uses a specific data source this data source I have previously created uh, created it on the WebLogic server and also um, make sure, and I, also on my domain, I have installed the libraries, and I can show you that um, in a little bit. But basically, just you, you need to follow the regular installation of ADF Essentials, and I have also added some of this, those instructions on my blog post. Um, be, be, besides uh, modifying the application model to use the data source on the data co on the view controller. Um, the one thing I had to do, and we're also currently investigating this uh, internally in the Oracle uh, Development Tools team, uh, the index.jspx, the main UI component, uses the three-column template. However, this uh, presented a, um, a conflict when I was trying to deploy the application, so I commented out the usage of this template and I basically added just the panel tab and inside the panel tab I added the region. So basically I'm not using the uh, three column template, however if you use your own template uh, I would expect that um, this uh, file is already embedded into your application source file, so it is is basically is going to be um, accepted. Uh, I guess the problem here is uh, regarding the how it is trying to discover the path of this uh, three column template within the jar files of essentials applications. Okay, so bas basically uh, I modified this and then under your application resources, descriptors and metainf, you need to go into your WebLogic application and basically all your uh, this is how it's gonna look and this uh, uh, this applies for pretty much all of uh, what I could notice all of all ADF applications and these listeners are for WebLogic server however are not intended for WebLogic server 12c so WebLogic server server 12c when I've deployed this application generates conflicts among these ones so I basically comment them out and save my uh, WebLogic application other than that, just make sure within the properties of your view controller project, you have um, your deployment profile. The deployment profile is uh, targeting the platform Glassfish 3.1. That is basically how a J developer understands that this is an ADF Essentials application. So it will add uh, uh, other libraries, uh, additional libraries to the deployment. Uh, to the uh, deployed file or ER file and also um, the same thing will you'll need to have at the application level so on the deployment we're just gonna make sure that the platform is Glassfish 3.1 okay so having these three elements within your application you can now go and deploy your application as an ER file so we can go here 
and check um, the deployment okay so it is deploying my three profiles So now that I finished deploying this uh, profile, I'm going to go into my applications deploy folder and this is the ER. So before deploying this ER, there is one additional step that you need to take. So I'm going to go and um, take this uh, to uh, where my ADF Essentials domain is located and I'm going to replace this file. Uh, with what with what I had before, and um, in the in the web.xml, this is a, a modified version of the web.xml uh, file that comes with the ER file. So uh, just to show you what it looks like, basically the one thing you need to notice is within the file you need to comment out this line specifically, which is the glassfish application lifecycle listener. This is only used for uh, for Glassfish so right now you don't need it for WebLogic Server so basically you, if after you comment that out you're gonna um, open up the ER file, open up the WAR file, go to webinf and take the web.xml here let me just make this window smaller and after that you just take it here I need to let's see okay let me just shrink my window this is okay so let's just take it again and once I drag and drop it there um, it says okay this is uh, Ubuntu so it's gonna uh, repackage uh, and update the ER and WAR files accordingly so once I have both of the ER and WAR files updated I can take this application and I just can drag and drop it into my auto deploy and and it will be there and it's gonna deploy okay so once the application is deployed I can go into my browser and look for my summit ADF faces application and there you go so we have the ADF essentials deployed on web Weblogic 12c thanks